Welcome to this course in Learning to Code. The language we're going to use is C-sharp. It's a Microsoft native language, so first thing you need is Microsoft Windows operating system of some sort. Then we're going to get our integrated developer environment. That's the tool we use to make the code on our apps. It's called Visual Studio. So I'm just going to go into my search engine here and look for Visual Studio Community Edition. So as you can see here, it's a free tool that we can download. It's free to use for education, it's free to use for individual, non-business users. So the download link is here. You can see it's a fully featured IDE. It's got uh, tools like an editor where you can create code, a debugger where you can figure out problems that occur with code, known as bugs, and a compiler where you can compile the code into applications for Windows, for Android, and for iOS, as well as web applications and cloud services. So let's get that downloaded. Everything created in the Microsoft platform, and you can distribute your applications to other platforms. That's what that diagram shows here from the IDE. So let's click the download link. And get started coding. We'll click the run button here when prompted at the bottom of the screen. Okay, after about a minute, you'll be given the final prompt, so we'll just allow Visual Studio to install on our computer. You'll be asked to um, make some choices during your download. I'm just going to leave that program installed in the default location in the C drive and choose a typical installation. I'll just uh, click the install button, accept the license conditions and move on with my installation. You should now get a message indicating that the setup is complete and we can click the launch button. During the first start, uh, during startup you should be prompted here um, to sign on with your Microsoft account. You can say not now and choose to do so later or if you don't have a Microsoft account you can sign up for one I'm going to use my account, so I'm going to use my Microsoft email address. Email and password correctly this time. Again, your patience is required, as you can see from the messages, just like with the installation. My installation actually took a couple of hours in total. So this is what you should see the first time Visual Studio starts up for you. We're ready to code. Okay, it's good to be an active learner, so let's participate in a knowledge check here to see how much you know and how much you understand about the Visual Studio integrated development environment. So question one, in this course we are going to use an object-oriented language. Do you know which one of the following is not an object-oriented language? Now pause and try and answer this one yourself. Okay, let's go through these. Ruby is an object-oriented language. Java is one of the, uh, was developed in the 90s in, as an object-oriented language. C Sharp, the language we're using for this course, is of course uh, uses the object oriented approach um, and is the Microsoft uh, language developed for that. Whereas Microsoft C is a more traditional procedure language which uh, concentrates more on writing uh, procedures and, and doesn't have the object oriented focus of reusing code. Question two, let's move on. An IDE, or an Integrated Development Environment, is a piece of software used by software developers. Which of the following is not a function of an IDE? Okay, just pause and give that a go yourself. So an Integrated Development Environment is used to code build tools. So you write the code and you build that code uh, across uh, numerous platforms. It's also used for code editing, where you type up your code and you have a color-coded editor which you're going to see when we move on to using Visual Studio. Debugging issues with code can be done by Visual Studio uh, with a debugger. Sorting code into alphabetical order, however, is something that's not done too often. 
OK, finally, question three. Which company creates Visual Studio uh, integrated development environments? Pause and give that a go yourself. Is the company, is it uh, Android developers in Google? No. Visual Incorporated is something I've never heard of, at least. The people at Apple don't develop it. However, Microsoft are developers of it. You may notice, however, when you go to the Visual Studio page, the Visual Studio sits on the Microsoft operating system and it actually has a very cool set of tools called the uh, .NET Framework, which is a huge collection of tools um, which you can call upon from the Visual Studio to create apps. When you call upon those tools, you can then push those apps out to different operating systems mentioned in the question, like the Apple operating system, Android operating system, web interfaces, and so on. But the uh, platform that you're working off is the Microsoft platform as far as Visual Studio is concerned, and C Sharp.